and then uh, we'll see how it goes. This game has a very interesting uh, concept to it. Uh, I've seen some things about it. Uh, it just seemed interesting, so I thought, why not? Okay. Ruin has come to our family. You nice remember art style our as well. venerable house, opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, patterned by decadence and luxury. I love the art style. And yet, so I good. began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular, unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. Kind of uh, Lovecraft Lovecraftian. With relic and ritual, nice. I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long buried secrets. Very Lovecraftian. Exhausting <laughs> what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Cthulhu? Question mark? <laughs> I mean, it just. Cthulhu's in the Every step so. unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. Fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Kinda looks like Azathoth. <laughs> Till consciousness Kind of, me. in a way. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return Damn. home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows. Call housekeeping. Right. Of the darkest dungeon. Okay. Interesting intro. Uh, Blood Moon campaigns are not for the faint of heart. Expect no uh, quarter. Quarter. No forgiveness. You must conquer the evil within a time. And hero death limit. Blood Moon is. Okay, so I didn't come for. Okay. Well, let's do this one uh, simply because we don't want a timer or anything because this is my first time playing so oh it's a wheel I didn't know what that was <laughs> you will arrive along the old road it winds with a troubling serpent like suggestion through the corrupted countryside Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. I'm so worried about point of view. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road, and on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steel yourself, and remember, there can be no bravery. Okay. Without madness, it's very the old road will take you to hell. But in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. It really reminds me of H.P. Lovecraft, so far, which is great because I <laughs> I love H.P. Lovecraft. Okay, so look at our guy, dude. <laughs> he looks sick. What's this here, though? Can I? Should I have done that? Oh. Okay, <laughs> it just leaves back here. <laughs> Finally, something to smile about. <laughs> Don't be such a Debbie Downer, dude. We got this. Ambush. Uh -oh. Send these vermin a message. Uh, this is the rightful a owner has boy. returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Uh, bypass cell. Be stuff on cell. Okay. Should we go with this pistol thing? On the little guy, try and take him out. I guess this is also range, so I'm thinking maybe a stunning blow on the big boy. Actually, try and oh, you resisted it. Uh -oh. Okay, 
Oh, uh, they barely do any damage. We're fine. Insane. I think. Let's just finish him up. Yeah. Nice. Balls. Big boy dead. Right. A trifling victory. Uh, we've got gold. But a victory Three. nonetheless. Citrin. Yellow like fading hope, but it's valuable. Okay. We'll, we'll take all that then. After you complete the requirements of a quest, you have the option to return to town at any time. Just press right stick. You don't need to return to the starting room of the dungeon to exit. Okay. Hamlet or remain? Let's remain. I want this chest. Uh, bandit's trapped chest. Something doesn't look quite right with this one. Uh... I'm gonna open it anyway. <laughs> we got light. I don't know what that means. Was there nothing in there? It was empty. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> There's a lot that we need to do, apparently. Um. Okay. Ah, it came the editor. <laughs> yes, I am here because we need to talk. Uh, so I'm an idiot, basically, <laughs> and it took me a very, very long time to understand what the hell was going on in the game uh, especially when it comes to the main lobby so like the area where you know you need to do everything <laughs> to like sort everything out so i'm gonna have to do it in post so if you're wondering why the this strange segment of me talking over a little pit there'll be a little picture on the screen of the uh, the lobby like the town and I'm gonna go through what everything does so no one gets confused because I was confused for a very long time of how it works and I uh, figured it out about really got an understanding of it about three hours into the stream so <laughs> I can't really you know uh, edit that in because it took uh, it was a process to learn it so I'm just gonna quickly do this so that everyone understands we're good <laughs> we good we're good okay the first thing we're going to talk about is the uh, tavern and the church. So they're both to reduce stress because as characters go through the different places, they will get stressed. And the higher their stress, they will get different um, kind of like disadvantages that can happen to them. They can become very selfish, which means they might refuse to be healed because they think they can do it on their own, that kind of stuff. So you kind of need to do this uh, and de-stress people with high stress so that these problems don't occur during the game. But there is a character that's known as the caretaker who will also uh, be going, taking up a slot basically. Um, so if you have a character that can only relieve stress by gambling, which would be like a, a weakness of the character. And, you know, if the caretaker is currently gambling, then you can't reduce the stress of that character because he's in the way kind of thing um which is annoying but that is what it is so okay moving on to the stagecoach the stagecoach is uh basically if any new characters arrive they arrive at the stagecoach and you can recruit them there but you can only have a maximum of 10 people like in your party if you will uh, next we have the blacksmith so the blacksmith is pretty self-explanatory uh, you upgrade weapons and armor there and then after that we have the sanitarium which is super useful so basically if someone has a negative status effect like um, you know a negative thing about their personality like they might be um, a germaphobe which means that, you know, if they get blighted or something, their accuracy is lowered. Someone can be like a, a nervous bleeder and stuff. So if they're bleeding, uh, they get different, you know, different negative effects because of it. So you can get, um, get them cured. Uh, this one is the guild. So the guild lets you upgrade skills. And finally, we're just going to cover two that are really not that important. Um... Just quickly, there's the graveyard where you can see all the, you know, people that have died. Ancestors' memoirs or whatever. And it's just, like, things that the ancestor, the voice, like, in the intro cutscene and stuff. 
um has said to you previously so you can like look back at it and if you want to you know <laughs> so i think that's everything covered uh it should be so hopefully that clears up any confusion with that and uh yeah i hope you enjoy the rest of the video <laughs> and now we need her i want him in the back i don't know if that even changes anything but yeah. I wouldn't last a minute. Look at this crew. We got a plague doctor. It makes me so happy. I love plague doctor. Okay, that's clearing all corpses and stuff. Cool. Okay, let's buff someone then. We'll buff uh, our main man. Nice. Uh, let's get the pistol shot in there. We can't shoot the guy in the front for some reason. So we shoot the guy in the back. We missed. Your shit. <laughs> Your shit, bro. Alright, cool. She does. Okay, let's just go for a basic attack first, I guess. Boom. Five damage. It's a lot of damage for him. Mate, she's dodging everything. She's agile. She is an agile person. Oh, no one went quick on. Uh, let's get rid of this guy. Boom. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Uh you. Let's get rid of that corpse. And he's stunned. Nice. This is good. I have to beat the shell. Executed with impunity. Good first fight. Take that cash. That cash money. TR. Did one one damage, but it applied blight. Nice. Okay, she took a hit. Mate, blight is getting some shit done. Stressful incantation. Holy fuck, she stressed him out. <laughs> Uh, let's see Dazzling Light, dude. Hell yeah. Uh... Well oh. struck. Crit and we get more light back. He was stunned. He's been buffed, though. Uh-oh. Uh, let's go for Stunning Blow on you. Awesome. Here you are. Oh, he could have buffed. Whoops. He could have totally buffed someone. Oh no, this is not good. Um, let's stun that guy. This advantage. Oh, he died. Give them no quarter. Nice. Your inventory, either click the back symbol or use the tab key. Oh, you're on console? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, bro, I'm on console. Uh, I can't shoot that guy, so let's just finish off that guy. Mate, this guy is so bad at this gun, <laughs> she dodges every time. Pick up on that. Okay, get rid of the corpse, I guess. Uh, you swap places with the knight. I don't really want you on the front line. Kill him! I'm not oh, 20 oh. damage. I'll take that. Snatch that right up. But don't mind if I do. Uh oh. What is that in the middle of the map? This guy. Hey, he hit his shot for once. Oh, I'm so fucking proud of you, dude. This guy. So you don't get a chance to attack. To okay, good. Okay, he buffed himself. She's getting slapped up again. They always go for her, dude. <laughs> they never attack anyone else. Um, let's get rid of the corpse. Can't miss a corpse. Unnerved. Oh, fuck. oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Can I heal him? Divine Comfort. Yeah. Two. I only did two. Uh-oh. Dude, he is... Oh, no. Don't kill my Plague Dog, then. <laughs> no. I like him. Uh, you can heal yourself, sir. It only does... Oh, it only heals one. Why can't I use this? I want to use it so bad. <laughs> I don't... I don't know what to do with it. Um, hmm. Let's use Dazzling Light on him. Fucking screw him. Half turn, I guess. Oh, that adds stress? Oh, no, dude. Alright, we can kill him. Good. Boom. The fiend falls, a fiend hook okay. That was a bit tough. Okay, I'm starting to understand it now. I'm starting to get, you know, a good feel of how the game works. Oh my god, that's a scary man. That is a scary looking man. Why can't she heal, dude? Do you think it's because of where she's positioned? I think maybe she needs to be further back. 
try it. Let's just try it. This on the acolyte. Mate, dude, hit your shots, bro. He does 25% chance to resist it. So should get it. Yeah. Okay. So now can you use this? Yes, she can. There we go. Oh my god. Thank Jesus I figured that out. <laughs> god damn. Stun the big guy. We don't want to deal with his shit, please. He resisted it. Nice, good dodge. Okay, now you can use this because you're in the middle. Got you. Okay, debuff. As many of them as you can. Nice, good, good, good. Uh, I think you can kill big guy, honestly. Nice. Obliterated. Good job. A righteous blow. Damn straight. We own it now. We own it now. Let's keep healing this guy up, because he almost fucking died because of my incompetence. Okay, they're gonna keep attacking him. Nice. Mate, the knight is on a roll. So basically just use this, I guess. Okay, nice. She's stunned, so if we can stun the skeleton as well. Their formation we'll kill him, that's broken. fine. Maintain the offensive. Uh, may as well. Confidence Boom. surges as the enemy crumbles. Okay, good. Success. Out there. So clearly go. View. I think we're good for now. Crap. Ambushed Eight. by foul invention. Are you kidding me? Holy shit. Can you use your heals now? Or do you have to be in game? I think we have to be in a fight. Okay. Mate, that trap did so much damage. Holy shit. That's not good. Okay, so there's nothing in here. So let's go this way. Another dead guy. Contains loot. Food. That stuff. Crest, a sigil of honor earned by family actions long since past. Let's use some food, I think. Oh, not on you. Uh, on you. Because you took some fat damage. And we have plenty of it, so why not? Get him to numb on some shit as well. Snack time. We're having a snack break. Oh, we need a burner torch. Uh, burner torch. Burner torch. Boom. Uh, hunger. The exertions of adventuring have produced a growing hunger amongst the party. Uh, eat. Everyone eat. We literally just ate two seconds ago, but yep, snack time again. It's time to snack. Quest complete. Uh, I kind of want to remain. That's okay. Oh, our torch is low though. Yeah, I think this is a bad idea, honestly. Without tools of iron, what you must rely on Ooh. flesh and indefatigable purpose. I should have. Uh, whoops. And our torches. You know what? We're not going in there. <laughs> we just had so much stress because I fucking pressed the wrong button. Germaphobe minus ten percent accuracy when versus blighted. That's not good, but. He we can get him to cancel. Wait, how is a plague doctor <laughs> a germaphobe? <laughs> Come on. I wanted to equip this. Um, maybe there must be. Um, somewhere. <laughs> how do I equip it? Um, I just unequipped it. How do I equip stuff? Ah! <laughs> I don't know. Equip. There has to be. Hold on, I'm gonna Google this shit. Honestly, because I can't figure it out. Is that skill page? Yeah. Finally open the trinket menu with triangle. 
god. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, it was that simple! <laughs> Whoa, what is wrong with me? Are you kidding? It was that fucking simple. Honestly, I am a dumbass. <laughs> I am so, so stupid.